in for baking news. Hi, this is Liam reporting for City News. This week we are looking at the Te Papa report. Arrived at Te Papa, we sat down on the floors near the bathrooms. We were told to put the bags in a cage that was labelled Hook for New School, Room 7. We sat down to listen to, some, to Mr McCarthy and said, and he said that there will be a lady going through all the things we'll have to do. So we started off with the game exhibit, but we were led by a, name, by a man named Scott. Scott showed us the different kinds of games and what made a game fun. Scott told us to get into groups of five or four. I got in a group with Matthew, Daniel, Mitchell, and Shahir. After that, we were given type of <laughs> our type of game to play. It was it was platform. The first game was Donkey Kong. <laughs> Matthew was writing down the information. The next game was Super Mario. This time, I was writing the, down the information. Next up was, next up we played Sonic. Daniel was writing down the information. After that, we played a game called Blueberry Garden, and Mitchell was writing down the information. After that, we we had morning tea. When we, when we finished, when we finished, we went to the, to the game exhibit and game. After that, we went, we went to the Manai and did some Maori songs and speeches. I was amazed by how many games there were. There were heaps of games. My favourite game was Dancing Drew 3 because you dance the songs you like. I was with Levi, Vidiami, Liam and me. We, we, we called the bosses and we had an awesome day and there was a porphyry. We learned all the stuff we needed to know how to enter the Marae. Harlem Shake. The Harlem Shake is a dance where a group of people all stand still apart from one. He or she is normally dancing and this goes on for about 15 seconds. Then for another 15 seconds everyone dances. The Harlem Shake originated in Harlem, New York. The song was created in 2012 by Bar, a DJ. The internet video was created in early 2013. Since then it has become a worldwide sensation. Hi, I'm Emily reporting for Supreme 7 News. This week we have been looking at acronyms, anagrams, kururus and koawas. In Supreme 7 we have been learning about acronyms. An acronym is an abbreviation for the initial components in a phrase or a word. For an example, LOL is laugh out loud and UK is Seven, we have been learning about anagrams. An anagram is a word that you can rearrange the letters of a word or a phase to make a new word or phase. For an example, heart, earth, and lime, mile.
This week's sport review is on badminton and hockey. Badminton. Every week Supreme Seven goes to the hall to do badminton and we lear learn a lot of stuff about badminton. We only go once every week and it costs 50 cents for each lesson. So far we have learned how to hit under our bouncer on our racket, pretend to hit it over a net and hit between our buddy. We get taught by a lady who's from Ireland and has played for 30 years and she's a very good teacher. She supervises us every time and teaches us everything we need to know about badminton. Well, not quite everything, but most of the things we need to know for a beginner. The Hockey Report. On the 9th of April, we had a hockey session. In the morning, just after CRE, the man who was teaching us was called Stefan. He was from the Manawatu Hockey Association and he came to teach us some skills. We started with a warm-up game which was called Rob the Nest. We had to get as many balls as possible from the middle of the field. Then you could draw people's balls. So we first did it with our hands, then we did it with hockey sticks. After a warm-up game, we played some real games. We had to split up into teams of about five or six. Then each team played each other. When we were about to leave, Levi and Jalen thanked Stefan for teaching us some hockey skills. We had so much fun. The end. Written by Shahir and Matthew. And now for a weather report. Hi, my name is Zachary reporting for Supreme 7 News. This morning we'll be having chances of hail. By lunchtime we'll be having chances of snow the size of tennis balls. And in the afternoon we'll be having a lot of rain. <laughs> So that brings us to the end of Supreme Sevens News.